all of you PNM sycophants, and even some of you who are on the fence, so to speak, politically, you all need to be a little more intelligent, a little more discerning when you listen to a liar like Keith Rowley speak about Kamala Pasal Bisesa being unpatriotic. Just a simple, in-depth, profound look at what she said and what happened. Well, let it be known that indeed a murder was committed by the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard. It, matter, it matters not if, she, if that baby was a citizen or a Venezuelan migrant. There are laws and protocols that govern all of that. What we have to de determine is manslaughter, murder. Manslaughter is murder. Although you will be less culpable, manslaughter, by its definition, is homicide. I didn't, ha I didn't even have to speak to the best lawyer in Trinidad and Tobago, or one of the best, Wayne Sturge, to, to know that. So when Kamala Basad Bisesa holds the Coast Guard culpable, then we have to, we, then we have to examine the facts. You have a parole with, re with refugees coming, trying to get into Trinidad, going up against a Coast Guard vessel. Against a Coast Guard vessel. Now, there's something called proportionate force, and that wasn't exercised here by the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard. That has nothing to do with being patriotic and patriotic. That is, that, that, those are the facts. And our Coast Guard should have been more circumspect they had the power on their side disp disproportionately compared to those refugees. And they should not have fired 20 shots, by all accounts, 20 shots into that pirogue, killing a baby. Everything else is superfluous. No, an investigation will occur and all of that. But you cannot now tell me that because the opposition leader called out the Coast Guard that you say she's on... She's unpatriotic. Well, all of you sycophants, what is unpatriotic from Keith Rowley is cutting education for children, making it a selective process rather than a meritocracy. That is unpatriotic. What is unpatriotic is Rowley giving the wealth of the country away to segments of the society that are not African or Indian, the major stakeholders in Trinidad and Tobago. What is unpatriotic it's Keith Rowley closing down Petrochin and sending home thousands of workers. What is unpatriotic is Keith Rowley sending home TSTT workers, not negotiating with the unions, not providing for single mothers, not providing for those same communities that has kept the PNM in power for 59 years and has forced a lot of African youth to turn to criminality. That is unpatriotic. So you're not going to distract me or the UNC. We'll call it for what it is. And we'll hold any service, any service to account. It has nothing to do with patriotism. Now we could tell you all the relevant cliches that patriotism is a, is a refuse for scoundrels. And Rowley is a scoundrel. Rowley is a liar. He's a coward. Because he seek refuge in patriotism rather than seek refuge in the truth. And that's why the UNC and our opposition leader will hold him to account. So Trinidad and Tobago, don't get, get, don't get confused with the facts. The facts are what they are, and they might be messy. But if we are a mature country, we deal with it and move on. And part of that moving on is making sure that Rowley goes. Love in the house, all the time.